from. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Give me a darn break. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. July 1st in California marks a new era. And one that not many of us in California are happy about. The era in which it is illegal to talk into your cell phone while you're driving. It's illegal. You can't do it. Now there is a tiny fine if they catch you doing it. I believe it's 20 bucks. It's not like one of these speeding tickets where it's $256. Although I'm sure they'll get there. But July 1st marks the uh, first day that if a police officer sees you talking on a cell phone, he can pull you over and cite you. Hence, a mother load of advertising from just about every electronic store and every cellular provider advertising Bluetooth headsets and what have you. And, of course, that's their job is to sell that product uh, now that you need it. And uh, I must say the cellular companies lobbied against this law. They were not in favor of it. So the little windfall they will get selling headsets is not what they were trying for. They wanted to support your unfettered right to use your cell phone. Um, We have great affection and love for our nation's police forces. Cops are some of our best friends. Uh, We have had great love poured on us by patrol officers, and we have also... Uh, whether it be take pictures, signed autographs, or hung out with these guys and, and just had a lot of fun. And many of them are our best friends. So this, what I'm about to say has nothing to do with that, my, my affection for the, for the police. Let me just say this. Uh, this law, in my opinion, is just another way for the government to worm their way into your vehicle, your home, your pocket, and to continue to erode the rights you have to live peaceably and and privately. It's my opinion that whether you're talking on a cell phone or not is not the business of the government. Now, if your insurance company wants to say, if you're talking on a cell phone when you cause an accident, we're not paying. If they want to do that, God bless America. I've got no problem with that because then I am personally responsible. I have made the decision. And if I cause an accident while I'm talking on a cell phone, I'll pay the price. I have no problem with that. But I do have a problem with cellular telephones being singled out as the cause of deaths or danger on U.S. highways. First of all, the only thing you're forbidden from doing is talking into the phone. How many people have a much harder time dialing the call than actually maintaining the conversation? I don't know about you, 
but for the past seven or eight years, I've had smartphones that have a complete keyboard in addition to a telephone. Little keys. Small type on a poorly lit screen during many of those years. Dialing a telephone number from a smartphone is complicated compared to dialing it from just a straight-ahead, old-line Nokia cell phone, those ones they gave away for free with uh, a new service contract. I, um, When I am struggling is when I'm driving 65, 70 miles an hour, and I have to pick up my phone with a complete QWERTY keyboard and try to discern uh, out of the five telephone. Oh, let me give you an example because the one I dial most often. Our producer Gary Zabransky, he's got a, he's got an office number, he's got a home number, he's got two cellular telephone numbers, and um, I don't even know what else he has. In, in addition, his email addresses are all stored in my phone. When I hit Z for Zabransky. I then have to make a decision, which do I want to do? On my BlackBerry, it asks, call home, call work, call mobile, email Gary Zabransky, SMS text Gary Zabransky. And I have got to look at the phone and make a decision. That is perfectly legal under the California law. Talking on the telephone which takes far less coordination and thought, that's now illegal. Let's talk about some of the other things that are still legal. Applying makeup while you drive. That means opening your mirror, opening a compact, and applying makeup. Legal. Has anyone counted how many deaths are caused by women applying makeup while they drive their cars in traffic? Probably not. How about eating a foot-long Subway Veggie Delight sandwich with mayonnaise dripping out one end of it? And uh, jalapeno peppers and green bell peppers falling into your lap and you're trying to keep them from falling. Totally legal. The authorities apparently think that's not endangering anybody at all. So if you want to go and uh, get a chalupa today, take the wrapping off, let the beans fall into your lap while you're eating and try to clean up as you're driving. Totally legal. But God forbid you should talk into a cell phone. Outrageous. How about this? Wi-Fi is in many cities now. There are people who listen to this show through a live stream on their laptop, which is operating from the passenger seat of their vehicle, which usually means they have to type in a URL. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www dot <laughs> whatever. Totally legal. But God forbid you should be talking into a telephone. How about this one? Kids sitting in the back seat making noise. Parent in traffic turns 180 degrees to look at the back seat and say, If you kids don't stop that, I'm coming back there. I'm pulling over and I'm coming back there. Legal. Totally legal. Talking on the phone? Illegal. How about people I've seen this, and in fact, I have been with the Piper Trader. How about somebody goes to the pet shop and picks up a cute little puppy? And the little puppy is scared to death. He doesn't want to sit in a box. He doesn't want to sit on the seat next to you or on the floor. The little puppy wants to crawl over to your side of the car, climb up on your shoulder, and sit there until you get home. Legal. Totally legal. Putting your uh, pet on your lap, legal. No laws against that. 
Ever see somebody with the pet with the arms on the wheel, like you know, like the paws up there, like they're driving? Legal. No laws against that. I honestly believe that some of the sentiment for this law goes back to the days when everybody couldn't afford a cell phone. And there were many people who thought that those who did have cell phones were a bunch of show-offs. Yuppie show-offs. They just showed off that they have. They got money. They got a cell phone. They're talking into the phone very loudly to show everybody that they've got a phone and you don't. There's always been that little hint of resentment from people about people talking on the cell phone. And so you can do any number of things in the car while you're driving. We haven't even gotten into, like, sex and other things people do. You can do any number of things, anything you like. It's perfectly okay. I mean, it's just outrageous. Outrageous. So what I wanted to do in this hour of the program, since the cops are out there, perched on the shoulders of the freeways and hiding behind bushes trying to catch you. I want to talk to all the people who are defiant. I want to talk to all the people out there who absolutely refuse, absolutely refuse to cooperate. People who are breaking the law right now. So if you're one of them, if you're one of the people in California who says F you to the authorities, F you to the man, you're talking into your cell phone and no one's going to stop you, I want you to call me from that cell phone and speak right into the mouthpiece right now. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-866. I don't trust anything that bleeds for a week and doesn't die. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's not like a show. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. All right, this hour we're going to talk to people who are not obeying the new hands-free phone law in California. They're going to talk right into the mouthpiece of the phone. Jeff, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Tom. Yes. Hey, I'm talking on the phone right now while driving. Look at you. Yeah. You're a rebel. I, I, I certainly am. And I was also I was explaining to your to, to the screener something else I do when I'm stuck in traffic that I don't even if they, I don't even know if they have a law against this and I don't even know if they should or not, but if I have to use the bathroom, I don't like to pull over and argue with someone about using their bathroom. So I'll just go pee in a water bottle or something. And that takes way more concentration off the road than me talking on my phone. And I don't even know if they have a law for that. Good question. No idea. And these laws are getting out of control. Yes. Are you telling me that I can eat a taco salad from Del Taco while I'm driving, but I can't talk on the phone? Or I could possibly urinate into a bottle while I'm driving. Right. But they don't have, they, I don't even know if they have an explicit law against that, but they'll do it for a cell phone. And the easiest part about the cell phone, too, which is the talking, the dialing and the texting, that's the part that takes your concentration off the road. Or, or I can dial an international call. So I could dial 011, then the two digit country code. Then the city code, then a eight or nine digit phone number and a pound sign. I yeah. could also dial my calling card number. Or I could possibly pay my bills by by entering my credit card number onto the phone. Right. I could I could do all these things as long as I'm texting it, as long as the phone isn't up to my ear. Which, right. Which, which, which also I was saying, which I, I was talking to your, to your screener for a little bit, too, and I figured this would be exciting. I'll drive around the city talking on my phone and see if maybe I can go a place where officers are known to cruise and see if I can get pulled over on the phone while on the air with you. 
This is that, that would be great uh, if you could make that happen. If anybody's bothering to enforce the law today, I'd love to talk to somebody who got nailed. Um, you know, this is one of those laws they make when politicians have nothing better to do. You know, they, when they can't figure out the problems with the economy and the mortgage crisis, and they got nothing better to do, they can't balance the budget in Sacramento, which we know they can never do. It's to make us feel like they're doing something, like when they did that Megan's Law or Amber Alerts, all these silly laws they have. You know, Megan's Law is one of those stupid laws. You know, child molesters are so dangerous, but they're not so dangerous that we want to keep them in prison forever. So yeah. rather than keeping them where they'll never molest another child, we'll let them out. And then we'll announce the address of where they're living. And you, innocent people have had their houses burned down and because uh, people have moved and the information was wrong. But the politicians make us believe they did something about a problem. And that's what this is. They haven't done a goddamn thing here. This isn't going to protect anybody from anything. And, and I'm, I'm wondering, I'm wondering if this, if, if they had a lobby involved, this has to be an AARP lobby move. Because the only people complaining about people talking on the phone are really old people say, talking about the damn kids on the phone. It's not, it's not normal society that's complaining about it. Well, clearly, because people have voted with their uh, phones. Everybody's been talking on the phone and driving the car. Well, I'm driving on uh, West Sunset right now, which is an area that I tend to see a lot of police on. Hopefully, I can get pulled over and get to the bottom of this. Well, uh, Jeff, uh, you want, I'll keep you on hold, and we'll uh, check your progress. Yeah, keep me on hold and check my progress, because I'm going to be running errands, and I'll just stay on hold the whole time. All right, Dean will talk to you. All right. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff's driving around the Sunset Strip hoping to get caught. He's talking into his cell phone and doesn't care. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Gabriel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? It's going okay. Yeah, I'd like to say, uh, every time I see someone driving with a cell phone, it don't bother me. What bothers me the most is I see cops most of the time, they're on their cell phones. And usually where I live, they always pull me over for, like, I barely got my tags and done and all that. And they always pull me over. But most of the time when they don't pull me over, it's because they're on their cell phone. So I, if they're making a big thing about it, I doubt we're going to see them off their cell phones. Well, you're right about that. Wonder how many of them talk on their cell phones while they're engaging in high speed chases on the freeway. <laughs> uh, that's a good one too. Huh? Well, we'll have to but, keep our eyes open. Yeah, I, I saw some uh, on the NBC show, like some guy videotaping, like all the bad things that the cops are doing, or the city workers are doing. And hopefully, now that this law, that they try to do this law now, while well, they did. Hopefully he catches them doing this, too, while they're... Well, yeah, yeah i got to say this. I'm not here to attack cops. I'm a fan of cops. I'd certainly like to hear from a police officer explain to us if they really believe this law is going to make any difference. You know, it's the cops who have to uh, get called to the scenes of the accidents. It's the cops who have to deal with the dead bodies lying out there on the road or people who are critically injured. Um, I'd really like to hear from an officer and find out honestly. Was yeah, talking on a it. cell phone really wor worse than the other things people do when they're driving their cars? Anyway, Gabriel, thank you for the call. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Let's say hello here to Sean on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sean. Tom, I've never I well, I've said this a couple times to get laid, but I'm saying this right now and I mean it. I love you, Tom. Really? I do, man. You are, you're, uh, you're my second dad, man, and you've helped me out a lot, man. And uh, I, I agree with this law, man. I mean, I, I agree to, um, with you that this is this law is terrible, man. I mean, where are the cops at when you see? I seen the other day, man, this fat, nasty broad driving his truck. Right? She had a bowl of something on her stomach, eating it with a spoon and driving. Mm -hmm. Ridiculous. Where are the cops for that, man? There's no law against that. Well, there's no law. That's why. It's totally legal to do that. If you want to eat Cheerios with some sliced bananas and some skim milk and a big spoon, you can do that. Ridiculous. But don't talk into a mouthpiece. That would be distracting. 
all the all these broads, man, uh, texting all the time, like, watch the road. I, I'm walking here. They're off the damn phone texting. Yeah, well, even texting, you're not allowed to text. That's also uh, forbidden. Texting is forbidden, but dialing your phone isn't forbidden. And so if you need to dial the access code for your calling card, then dial one for English, then dial the 10-digit calling card code, then dial uh, 011 to make an international call, then dial the country code, which is two or three digits, then the area code or the country code, uh, then the city code, and then the phone number. That's legal. Ridiculous, man. Hey, Tom, um, I'm glad I'm on this show, man, and uh, I want you to take me out the most tasteless way for these bitches out here. Ooh. I want you to take me out Lacey Peterson style, followed by Biatch. All right, here you go, Sean. Biatch? It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This hour, we're talking to California residents who have said, forget it, I'm not going to obey the new law that says I have to go hands-free with my cell phone. I'm talking right into the cell phone. Jason on the top, like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going, buddy? It's going okay. All right. Uh, I'd like to talk to you about... Uh, why I disapprove with your opinion on this and why I think this law is great. Um, I'm, I'm kind of tired of these people swerving into my lane and, you know, trying to knock me off the road because they're talking to their boyfriends or girlfriends. But they're and, still uh, allowed to talk on the phone. Yeah, but it's different because you're not, you don't have a phone next to your ear and you can see the person, you know, driving next to you. Don't I mean, you think dialing a phone is more dangerous than talking into it? Oh, yeah, I agree with you on that. It's just as worse. I, no, I it's not. No, first I, of all, just as worse is illiterate. All right, Jason. And second of all, uh, it's not. It's it's not just as bad. It's worse. It's worse to have. It's worse to have what an earpiece in your ear. Is that what it's you're saying? It's worse. No, no. I'm saying dialing the phone is far more dangerous than talking into it. Yeah, in some sense. I mean, it, it all. What do you mean in some way. sense? You know, yeah, talking into you the know. phone. Talking into the phone does not require you to take your eyes off the road. Yeah, well, dialing saying, does. Oranges, though. No, I'm not. Those, those are two different things. You I mean, can't talk on the phone without dialing a number. Obviously, people can't drive while putting a cell phone up to the ear, or else they wouldn't be enforcing the law. No, no, they make many stupid laws. Don't assume because they make a law that it makes sense or that it's going to uh, accomplish anything. Do you think uh, that Megan's law accomplishes anything? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. That's the law that says that rather than putting child molesters in prison for life because they're so dangerous, because they repeat their crimes so often after being let out of prison, we're going to let them out anyway, but we'll announce the addresses where those people live so you can kind of keep your eyes open. Yeah, yeah, I, I understand. That's a different subject altogether. No, 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 but here's why it's the same. Because it's another stupid law that a politician made because the politicians were not willing or able to figure out a solution. How many times have you driven behind somebody and then you realize how slow they're going? And when you get next to them, you understand that they're on a cell phone yapping at whoever the hell they are. I talking. have driven behind people driving slowly for any number of reasons. People combing their hair, eating their breakfast. Snort By when I lived in Miami, literally snorting cocaine off a little mirror. So I have driven, just, I have driven behind people driving slowly because they're yelling at their children in the back seat of the car. How do you shift gears while you're driving and talking on the cell phone? I, I, well, I drive an automatic. Well, you see, there you go. I drive an automatic. Not everybody drives an automatic, but I'm saying... The well, that's my drive. point. Why should those of us who are able to do it be punished? Guess what? I, I have no problem if the insurance company that insures your vehicle says... If you kill somebody while you're talking on the phone, we're not paying. That's okay. At least then I have to take personal responsibility for what I'm doing. But this law is designed to allow the government to pull you over and go through your vehicle. It's still another reason that they can take, uh, take action and pull you over and look through your things. You have to, you have to look out for this stuff. You can't just say yes to all this stuff. We do not want the police representing the government pulling us over all the time. 
pulling, pulling us over to look through our things. That doesn't make sense to me. What do you mean it doesn't I mean, make sense to you? And you know, any time give you a ticket for being a moron and driving. Yes, what? Many road. times police say then that they've got probable cause to search your vehicle, and then they find the other things that are in your car. Who knows what you keep in your vehicle? Do you smoke well, weed? That's, that's all depending on you. I don't. Do you, you know. smoke weed? No, I don't. Well, many do. And those who do then get found out for other things that are none of the police's business. Sure hope you're not smoking weed, Tom. If I was, I wouldn't be carrying it in my vehicle. <laughs> exactly. All right, can you uh, take me out African tribal style? I certainly can, Jason. <laughs> Tom Likes. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I was with this girl for like a year and a half, and that was just a mess. You know, I broke up with like four months ago, and we're talking two to three girls every week since then. I love that. It's just because I'm listening to you, man. The Tom Likes Show. What's up, Mike? It's show at 1 800 5 800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. July 1st, the first day of the new law in California that requires people like you. <laughs> To stop using, I'm dead serious about this. They want you to stop using your cell phone to talk into. You have to, uh, to <laughs> the law is bizarre because what you have to do is take the phone, dial the number, then put the phone down and talk into a Bluetooth headset or talk into a speaker set in your car. My car is built in, uh, has built in Bluetooth. So it hooks up with my phone. So, I don't have to do anything differently. I just bring my phone to the car, and and it, it's kind of automatic. But th this idea that they can pull you over and fine you for this, outrageous. So I'm talking to people who refuse to obey this law. Let's say hello here to John on the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm doing okay. Well, i got to tell you, for a very bright guy... Um, you don't sound very smart on this subject. The fact that I absolutely love this law. People, you know, we're arguing the other caller who called you and said, well, um, you know, yeah, and you're arguing that people that eat and do all the other things while they're driving, that that's okay. No, that shouldn't be okay either. But it is okay. But that shouldn't be either. They should come Why is that. this being picked on? Why this? And you want to know something? It has nothing to do with safety. People don't like people talking on the cell phone anywhere. They don't like it in elevators. They don't like it in restaurants. Absolutely. They don't like seeing people walking down the street talking on a cell phone. This is more to do with people like you who just don't like watching people talking on cell phones. Tom, I, listen. I'm 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 a uh, I'm an offender of this uh, of this law. Or, you know, well, not now, but I'm pulled over. But I talked on the cell phone a million times. But if you look at the reason, why did wait? If this is such a good idea, pal, uh, why didn't you obey the law before it was a law? Well, well listen, listen. You know, answer my question. That's not the point. The point. Yeah, is no, 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 no. I I will tell you what I will tell you what the point is. Answer my question. Well, I'm going to answer the one you asked. Answer the one I'm asking now, pal. Answer it now. Why weren't you obeying this law before it went into effect? Why not? I want to know. Well, because you know what? Listen, if everybody else is going to drive like crap. Oh, so you think this was a good law, but you needed a law to change your behavior. Otherwise, you were not going to change your behavior. Well, yeah, that's why they come up with laws because. But you see, your whole your whole thing is not that you couldn't care less about the safety of other drivers. You couldn't care less about the safety of the roads. This has nothing to do with that because if it did, if it did, you would have had a headset a long time ago, pal. The research is out there. If you look it up, if the research is out there, why weren't you obeying the law before? If the research is out there, why weren't you using a headset a year ago? 
And it's because you're a hypocrite. That's why, because you couldn't care less about the safety of other drivers. Well, uh, listen, it's still a great law, whether or not I respect it yeah. before the law. Again, you don't law. care. You admit you don't care about the safety of other drivers. Well, what I care about is getting to... You don't care about... Yes or no, do you uh, care? Do you care about whether talking on the cell phone endanger other drivers? Do you care? The answer is no. Well, what I care about, though, is... The answer is no, isn't it? Why are you avoiding me? The answer is no, isn't it? Admit it. The answer is no. Well, The answer is no, isn't it? Say it. Stand up. Be a man. Stand up. Tell everybody you don't give a rat's ass about the safety of the other drivers. You couldn't care less. Say it. Say it. Say it. No, I'm not telling you anything. You're going to answer me. This is my show, and you're going to do it my way. You don't care about the safety of other drivers. I do. That's and if you gonna... do, why weren't you doing the right thing in the first place? Why did it take a law to get you to do the right thing? And the answer is because you don't give a rat's ass. It's, it it's still good for everybody, though. You don't care. You're complaining you don't care. You, you don't care. I've had enough. Goodbye. Holy crap. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Richard on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Richard. First off, that last caller was an idiot. Of course. I got one of these tickets uh, about 11.30 this morning. I'm sitting on the 101, sitting in traffic, uh, trying to get another one of them. You are trying. So for you, this is civil disobedience. Oh, of course. And once, once a bad driver, always a bad driver, whether they're talking on the phone or not. If I'm talking on my phone, it doesn't make me any worse of a driver. I can drive fine. Uh, all these other idiots don't know what the hell they're doing. Well, and those who don't will have accidents, and those who have accidents, their insurance will go up, which is the way it should be. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Tom. I love the show. Richard, thank you. David on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, father. Son, how are you? I'm doing fine. How about you, man? Great. You're, I bet you have a headache after that caller two hours ago. Yes, Hello. I do. <laughs> I'm here in my rebelling sense right now. I'm talking on the cell phone on the 10 freeway passing the 57. I'm not wearing a seatbelt, and I don't plan to, because I consider myself a safe driver, but if I get in an accident, it will be my fault. That's just my opinion on it, but I choose not to follow that law either. Have I you ever gotten a ticket for that? I haven't. I actually got close about a month ago, but the cop was making a U-turn, and I outran him <laughs> Yeah. before he made the turn. So yeah. I got away with that one. Look at you. Uh, yeah, uh, that one was close. Give me a little... Before long, before long, we'll see you in a freeway chase on Channel 9 at 3 in the afternoon. Hey, if that happens, then I'm going to slap a 97 one sticker on my hood. Let's <laughs> see that. <laughs> well, Tom Likas right there. Likas 101. <laughs> right on the bottom, it said, more ass than a toilet seat. And I love it. It'll be done like that. But uh, I got another thing on that. What uh, of the things that happen, can I get a hand out of all the people sitting in the car right now? Talking, hold, waiting on hold with one hand, can they raise their hand for the people that have gotten um, oral pleasure in their car? Or as we call oh, it, yeah. highway delight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is extremely hard to concentrate. I can't even, I don't know, I'm bad at driving like that. Yeah, I know. Even, even between the lines and stuff. But, You're know. absolutely right. You're absolutely right. It's, it's just restricting the rest of us. They want to make themselves do something or show the people that they're worth something able to make some laws that might affect any part of the community. Right. Even though this law is going to affect nobody, it's not going to save a single life. No, uh, no, it'll, it'll change lives because more money will be out of pocket. Our economy is going to drop more money to the state, less money in the pockets. They yeah, I wonder how many people need to do business on their phones, and this is going to affect uh, how yeah. they sound on the phone and we'll therefore how much business phone. they do. Stock markets, you got to know what's happening. you got to know the fluctuations. Well, Good point. Good I'm points, here. David. Good points. Thank you for that. Uh, Cody. Cody is an LAPD officer. Cody, you're on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Dad. Hello, son. How are you? I'm doing great. Good, good, good. Hey, uh, just a couple points. Uh, like I said, I'm, uh, I'm an officer in the LA area. And, uh, and you know what? I mean, I think a lot of people don't know is that, is that this had nothing. I'm sure people do know, but this, this law had nothing to do with us. Um, we're probably as big as culprits as everybody else as far as talking on the cell phones, so whether we're working or we're not. I mean, everybody's got to use the cell phones how we work every day. 
Um, real quick, um, I don't think people know. I, I heard a couple callers ago people talking about, oh, you know, officers speak on the phone just as much. And, and you know, while we're out driving, we see them talking where they're working. Well, just so you know, and so everybody else knows, we're, you know, there's been policies that have been enacted recently to where we can't use our phones or Bluetooth on the phone at all. So we're pretty much restricted from using our phones while we're on duty altogether. So we're feeling it just as much as everybody else is. Wow. But, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. It's real bad. So, so just, uh, the everyday citizens, you know, they still have it a little better than we do. We can't text, we can't do anything in the car. So. Now, Cody, let me ask you a question. I, I, I know you were a young guy. I don't know how much experience you've got, but I have to imagine at some point in time you've been called to the scene of a car accident. Of course. And I imagine you've seen people who've been seriously injured or maybe dead. Oh, definitely. Um, this new law, how many lives do you think it's going to save? Uh, you know what? It's, it's hard to say. I'm, I'm not going to say that this law complete doesn't have anything to do with safety because it's a distraction, just like thousands of other distractions. Everything's a distraction, you know, when you're driving, except driving itself. So, I mean, you really can't say this is going to save lives or, or help save lives any more than anything else is going to do because it's hard to say if somebody gets an accident, you know, them being on the phone, who's to say they weren't doing something else at the same time they were talking on the phone? Well, that's what I'm so, saying. I mean, I, I just wondered if you ever pulled up to an accident scene and said, if only they'd make a law against that talking on a cell phone, this person would be alive today. Oh, no, no. But I have, I have, you know, been driving behind people and seeing them on the phone and, and hold up traffic, you know, going 20 miles an hour and they should be going the speed limit. So it's, it's, it's not saying it's not a distraction. Is it going to help to save lives? Uh, it's hard to say. I'm not going to yeah. say yes or no because it's hard to say. So pro pro probably not, but, you know, as, as far as my opinion, it's, it's more another political you know, BS game for them to get inside of our pockets and, and make some more revenue off something that they shouldn't have any in, any right getting into. So that's 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 kind of where I'm at. All good points. Thank you very but, much, Cody. Hey, to hey, Tom, do me a favor. Yeah. Take, take me out, Dolby THX. I haven't heard in a long time, Dad. You know why you haven't heard in a while? Because George Lucas's company got a cease and desist against us, got us to stop using it. Oh, take me out, uh, take me out Indian tribal style then. All right, and African tribal style, here you go. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, I'm talking to people who just say I am not going to obey the new California law that says I have to use hand free, hands free operation on my phone, uh, like Bluetooth headsets or whatever. You're not going to not going to do it. And people are calling from their cell phones while they're driving. Let's say hello here to uh, Rose on the Tom Likas show. Yeah, hey Tom, this is Rose, and I got seventy six dollars. I hope that's the right amount in my hand. I'm in my car. The engine is on. I'm going around and around the block here in Alhambra in front of the police department with my finger out the window, and I'm on the phone with you. <laughs> That's right. And guess what? There was a cop, yeah, about 15 minutes ago, and I waved at him, pointed at my phone, blew him a kiss, and he just saluted me back and went on with his day. Yeah, How see, the, the cops didn't make this law, and we we don't need to blame the cops for making the law, because they didn't make it, and according to the one officer we spoke to this hour, they didn't ask for it either, and now they can't use a phone either. Poor guy, obviously he's got better things to do than be messing with this phone thing. Well, I think you make some interesting points there, putting your finger out the window. Tiffany on the Tom like his show, hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm okay, Tiffany. What's up? Okay. Um. Well, I kind of agree with this law, but then again, I don't because um, I'm about to explain it to you right now. Okay. We got these stupid, ignorant people that get real distracted because they're driving on the cell phone. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. You see what I'm saying? That's probably why they passed the law to punish everybody because of those people that cannot drive talking on the phone. Why not just punish yeah. the people who have accidents or cause other traffic violations? True, true, but look. I mean, yeah. you've been talking on the I phone. Have you killed anybody? I don't agree with the law because, listen, everybody can... All I know is I've been talking on the phone. I've never killed anybody. The Tom Likas Show.